Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash the X Note Galaxy S5 port onto your Galaxy Note 3 N9005. So the prerequisite here is that your Note 3 needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you haven't done that already, I'll leave a direct link uh, down below in the description to my video tutorial on how to get that done. So make sure you get your phone rooted with a custom recovery before you proceed. So the next thing, like I said, you need to have the N9005. This will not work with other models. So how do you find that? Just go into settings, about device, and you would have your model number. So make sure that it's a N9005 before you proceed. So assuming you have a N9005 that's rooted with a custom recovery, head on over to the download section in the description down below. Click on the link there, that would take you to this page on XDA Developers Forums. You can download the ROM, the zip file from there and transfer it onto your internal or external memories onto your Galaxy Note 3. So I've done that already. What you need to do next is go ahead, hold the power button and turn off your Note 3. And once the capacitive keys have gone out, hold up volume, power and home at the same time. So once you see Galaxy Note 3 displayed, you can let the keys go. So this will take you to your custom recovery. I have a touch-based recovery. Uh, if you do not have a touch-based recovery, it could look different. If you don't have a touch-based recovery, your volume keys will act for navigation and power key for selection. So uh, the first thing you do is head on to head on over to backup and restore and back up your ROM. This is the uh, your current ROM, your current version would get backed up. So in case something goes wrong, you can always come back and restore from this. I've done that as well. So the next thing you do is head on over to wipe data factory reset and select clean install to, uh, clean to install a new ROM or uh, if you don't have full touch, just do a wipe data. All right, so if it isn't obvious, this would wipe all your data. You will lose your apps and data. So before you get to this, make sure you use Titanium Backup or something and back up any apps and data that you want. So pressing any key to come or continue. All right. So next up, wipe cache partition. Once that's done, go into advanced, wipe down the cache. So guys, you do not have to do all three. If you have full touch, you could just go to wipe data factory reset and hit clean to install a new ROM. I just showed all three in case you have a different recovery just to get, uh, let you guys know. Next up, head on over to install zip and, uh, from SD card and just scroll down to wherever you have the ROM. So yes, install. So this will take a few minutes to complete. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. All right, guys, once it's done, just go back and hit reboot system now. So guys, keep in mind that the first boot into a new ROM is always going to be longer than your regular boot times. So, so don't worry about it if it takes a few minutes for your Note 3 to boot up. I'll be back with you guys once the Note 3 is up. So there you go, guys, we're up. Let me quickly run through setup. So there you go guys, we now have the Galaxy S5 ROM ported on the uh, Galaxy Note 3. So the air commands still work. There are a lot of goodies here, you just play around with it. You've got a lot of options, so check it out. And uh, if you guys run into any issues, you can always check out the original thread where you downloaded the ROM from. Uh, for any bug fixes and so on, they always have options there. So I guess that's pretty much it for this installation of the X Note uh, Galaxy S5 port onto the Galaxy Note 3 N9005. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like these, make sure you stay subscribed. So till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.